Greetings and salutations. Today, I would like to share with you some ideas on how you can pick topics for your speeches. How many times have you heard either yourself mumble this or another member of your Toastmasters club? Oh, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know anything. I don't do anything. I'm so boring. I can't come up with anything to talk about. That's going to end today. Grab a piece of paper and a pen and jot down some of the notes of what I'm going to share with you right now. This is my notebook. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It's not the entire notebook of ideas. However, anytime when I come up with some different ideas for a speech topic, I will write down the ideas and then I'll actually start going a little bit further in what project will it work in, which manual. There are so many different things that you can talk about. How old are you? Are you 18? Are you 25? Are you 45? Are you 75? That's a lot of years that you can talk about, but narrow it down. You can't talk about 50, let's use 50 as an option there. You can't talk about 50 years of your lifetime in five to seven minutes. You need to narrow it down. But how do you do that? What is most important to you? Is family important to you? Is church important to you? Are other organizations? Is Toastmasters? What are your interests? What are your passions? Think about the things that you know about and those can become your speech topics. It's just then a matter of how do you fit a specific topic to meet your project objectives. Let's give you a few more ideas. Have you gone to school? Did you go to grade school, high school, college? Have you taken professional development seminars? Have you gone to any trainings? Each one of those could be different opportunities for a speech. Who was your favorite teacher in school? Who was your most hated teacher in school? What subjects did you like? What subjects did you hate? Did you change majors when you went to school? Did you go from a Catholic school or private school to a public school? What were the differences and did you enjoy that change or go from a public school to private school? Were you bullied when you were a child in school? Were you the bully picking on other students? Were you popular? Were you an athlete? Were you, any, were you in any extracurricular activities? Once you got out of school, what kind of jobs did you do? Did you start an entry-level position and work yourself up? Have you changed careers? What do you enjoy about your work? What qualities do you enjoy about your supervisor? What do you enjoy about your coworkers? Do you go out and celebrate and improve your morale with your coworkers? Do you go to church? Are you actively involved in another organization? What is that organization? What do they do? What do they promote? Do you read a book? Do you read lots of books? Do you have a favorite author? Do you read magazines? Those could all be ideas for a speech. What about vacation? Have you ever been on a vacation? Where do you enjoy going? Las Vegas, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Alaska, on Alaska, Door County? Do you enjoy going to casinos or riding a zip line? Do you like a cruise or do you like to fly somewhere? Do you like quiet camping, hiking? Or do you like bungee jumping and skydiving? You could all you can incorporate each one of those different ideas into a speech topic. Where would you like to go and travel if you had the means and the money and unlimited time? What if the world were at your fingertips? Where would you go? That could be a speech topic right there. Focus on what your passions are, what your interests are, what your hobbies are. Find inspiration from a song, from a TV show, from a movie, from your children. Children, there you go. There's another topic right there. What are the things that you love about them? What are you proud that they have accomplished? What have they done to annoy you? All of these, you can find inspiration and just go off on so many different tangents once you have a main idea. But again, keep writing down these ideas because you never know when the opportunity will arise that you can present one of these speeches. Sometimes you're asked to give a pip pocket speech, meaning, uh-oh, we had a speaker canceled tonight. Is anyone prepared to just give a speech off the cuff tonight? If you already have some ideas in your head, but your speech is not perfected, this is a perfect opportunity for you. 
if you give the speech for the first time where you have not actually fully prepared and rehearsed for it, you will get feedback and information on that speech. Use that and then give the same speech using a different project and adjust your speech. Now you have time to prepare. Use the evaluation feedback you received the first time and implement it, giving it a second time. You don't have to necessarily come up with a whole completely brand new speech. You can just reuse something that you already have. You can draw inspiration from anywhere in order to come up with a speech topic. Listen to other speakers. You can draw inspiration from them as well because you're going to have your own perspective on what they're talking about because each one of us is such a unique individual and we bring a little bit of ourselves every time we come to the floor and we share a speech with our fellow members. Have fun picking your topics. Enjoy developing those into full speeches and just enjoy the moment when you're up in front of your fellow members giving that speech. I look forward to hearing your next one. Thank you.